Hi Stampers, this is Lisa, and today we're going to be playing with the Stamparatus. This is Stampin' Up's multi-function stamping platform, and I've only got one plate on it right now, but it does come with two. This is a little piece of wax paper I have in here because on my foam mat, I have a piece of sticky grid paper. And so this allows me to stick my paper down onto here that I want to stamp onto and not necessarily have to use the magnets. So this works really well if you have a large image that you want to get the entire thing and the magnets might get in the way. I would might still suggest using them. They're stored on the back and you can just put one on the side. Mine already broke. Luckily it wasn't too bad because I had the duct tape on there to keep it from shattering too bad. I'm going to be using this stamp from our May 2022 paper pumpkin. I made an alternative card where I used hinge stamping and so I thought today I would show you how that works. I'm going to place my stamp on my layer where I want it to go towards the top and then I'm going to close the platform and it's going to pick up my stamp. Now you can choose if you'd like to put a stamp case underneath for support, but then you're going to just ink up the stamp over here. And stamp. Now if I didn't get a very good impression, see I missed the bottom of that P, I can come back in and do this again. I even have these little, I don't know, pucks to help put pressure down. But then I'm going to lift it out of the hinge and move it down one notch. See, before it was up here, now I've got it right here, and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to ink up and close and apply pressure. And so there I have it. I have Happy stamped five times, perfectly spaced, and perfectly aligned. So that is hinge stamping with the Stampin' Up! Stamparatus. Stampin' Up!